today I thought I would share my secret for creating multi-tone halftone prints. I want to show you guys how I break down the tones of an image, which is what? Shadows, mid-tones, and highlights, and apply a halftone pattern to all three of those to create something that looks really stunning. And it's not only going to print nice, but it's also going to look nice too. Just open up Photoshop and let's get started. So I have here in front of me the halftone pattern effect that I'm going to show you today. And the cool thing about this is it really allows you to separate the different tones of any image onto their own layer. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's hide this skull layer and go into this group, which I've already applied like a hue and saturation adjustment to just to change the color. But if I break down the layers real quick, let's go ahead and hide all of these real quick. So I have an under base layer, which you really don't need, honestly. I have shadows, midtones, and highlights. So what this is going to do is allow you to, again, control what colors you use on each tone. So for the highlights, for example, I can literally change this to any color I want. It really doesn't matter. And uh, let me hide that hue and saturation layer. So as you can see, I can change this to literally any color I want and have full control over the way it looks. And that's why I love doing this way. And it's obviously transparent, so you can use this for screen printing. So that's how it works. And now let's actually do it. So the first thing we need is our skull layer. And we are going to create three different colors to start off with. We don't really need the fourth color, so I'm going to try to leave that out in this video. So the way this method works is using something called threshold, okay? And we're also going to use filter gallery stacked on top of that. So what we're going to end up doing first is go to our adjustments under the layers panel and go all the way down to something called threshold. And this is going to apply above your layer. Now from here, we're going to use this little threshold slider right here to control what we're affecting. So for example, this would be more of our highlights right here. This would be our midtones, and this is our shadows. So we can use these to our advantage. So the first thing I wanna do is focus on my highlights. So I'm gonna go about right here with my highlights. So now all we have to do is take the magic wand tool, make sure contiguous is unchecked so it basically selects every single part of the white. And um, you could copy the rest of my settings if you want. And we just left click, select all that white, and then do Command C, Shift Command V to paste it in place. And as you can see, we targeted just the highlights and we could do this with every single tone which is awesome so now let's go into the mid-tone range which is about right here and we could do the same exact thing we just want to hide threshold and now we have our other tone which is what our mid-tones so, and now we can start naming things too so this is our mid-tones that we just made we could drag that above right under the highlight layer so this is going to be our highlights and now let's create a really beefy shadow layer okay so let's take this all the way to the left now i can use my magic wand again to select this white hide the threshold there and then we're just going to do command c shift command v to paste that in place and as you can see now we have the shadow layer so let's name this shadow so we have our midtones and our shadows now with the highlights i actually forgot to copy the skull highlights instead of just keeping the white. So I'm gonna use that as a selection, Command C, Shift Command V to paste that in place. And this is my new highlight layer. That's what I meant to do at the beginning. So this is our highlights. So we're using the tones of the image instead of that white, essentially. Let's focus on our highlight layer first. In order for this to be successful, we need to make sure our foreground is black and our background is white. So let's say we have different colors for our foreground and background something like this all you have to do is press d on your keyboard and it will default the colors to black as the foreground and um, white as the background now if you're printing on a lighter color shirt you just want to make sure this is the opposite so you'd press x on your keyboard to make the foreground white and then x again to go back to normal so anyway with that being said i'm going to show you the secret recipe now so you go up to filter filter gallery and basically all you have to do guys is copy my exact settings essentially so um, I, sometimes I mess with these a little bit. So under halftone pattern, we have the size, which is going to affect the dot size and you can control the contrast levels on each of these. So under grain, we have the intensity. So how much texture do you want on this? Right? So if I zoom out, you can see what we just did. So I'm going to press okay. So now we have the highlight layer done, but we want to make sure there's no gray tones or darker tones. We just want the halftone, right? So in order to accomplish that, what we want to do is left click on the layer twice and we're going to use this blend if options right here under this layer. And if I hold an option or alt, if you're on a PC, you can split the arrow and get rid of those extra tones that we don't want. And then we just basically convert this to a smart object and it is completely white now, which is what we wanted. And we do the same thing now. We just literally copy that same filter gallery effect to everything, left click on this layer twice and get rid of the darker tones. Look how easy this is guys. And we do this literally for everything. So now we have our shadows, midtones, and highlights all color separated. And from here, it's really simple. All we have to do is add a color overlay to these. So let's say we want this to be a 
darker red color. So we added a color overlay to our shadows and we can literally just copy this effect over to the other ones by holding an alt on our keyboard and it will literally just uh, copy it over. So now I can change the color of this one to something a little lighter and then I could do the same thing for the highlights. Just copy that over, make this slightly lighter and we have something that looks just like this guys. And it's really, really quite simple, right? So we have highlights, midtones, and shadows and the shirt color is right here. So if our shirt color, let's say, is a little more vintage, maybe it's a faded black. That's what it's going to look like printed. But if we're printing it on something lighter, look what happens. It looks really bad. What we could do is honestly just make a base layer using the original skull. So I'm just gonna make a selection of that real quick, holding in control and selecting the thumbnail of that skull layer. And what we could do is take our lasso tool and hold in shift and basically fill in little gaps like this, make a new layer, and then shift backspace and just fill this with black and check that out. It will solve that issue for you. And if you guys wanna keep learning, you can check out the end cards where I have other videos linked that are um, also very helpful, hopefully. But uh, other than that, my name is Charlie Pangus. I will catch you guys in the very next video. Peace.